Hello, my name is Max. I'm here to uh, help guide you in uh, this game, Aurora. I've been playing Aurora for about two years. It's a fantastic game, but incredibly complex. Uh, there are so many things that it's uh, just uh, hard to wrap your mind around, but once you really get into the depths of the game, you'll realize just how uh, amazing uh, the game really is. I've been playing Aurora for about two years off and on, and I always come back to it just because I really, really enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the uh, first screen that you'll see when you first turn it on. Uh, the, the the game that you'll be seeing it should say Space 1899, which is the game creator Steve's own personal game. Um, you can go ahead and look into it, um, but we're we're going to go ahead and start a new game uh, right here. So we'll go ahead and click this new game icon and here we have the uh, new game screen. What game do you want uh, to name it? This is just identification of yours. I'm going to call it tutorial. Uh, we have Space Master Password. Space Master is simply uh, the referee. The, turning on Space Master allows you to uh, uh, play God, if you will. It helps you uh, just basically get some things done that you couldn't otherwise do. A lot of times you might think of it as cheating, but uh, that's not always the case. I'm going to leave it blank for myself. Uh, basic parameters, starting year has no emphasis on the game, it's just these are default values, uh, number of systems, how many uh, star systems are out there that you can explore. We'll keep all these at the default difficulty lower, um, say if you want to put in uh, 50, it wouldn't be as difficult, but if you put in 200, it'd be much more difficult. Um, for these, you can go ahead and uh, just leave leave the same. Um, Empire title. This is just getting into, uh, in some some ways, a little bit of uh, uh, role playing. Empire title, Terran Federation. This is what you want uh, to be known as. Uh, it could be United States of America, it be it could be Papua New Guinea, it doesn't matter. Uh, and then what's the short name for? What's your species name? If you want to be human, if you want to be Elvish, or if you want to be Klingon, that's up to you. You can name yourself here. The homeworld name uh, it could be Earth, or it could be uh, New Caprica. No idea what you want. Uh, government type, uh, player race, just um, that's the default one. Go ahead and play with it. But if you really want to have a, a little bit more fun here, you can go ahead and uh, change it to a number of these. They do make a difference uh, in the game. Uh, what exact difference it makes, I'm not going to say. Uh, but uh, it, it does more than just change the starting uh, starting stuff. But we'll we'll go ahead and keep it player race. Main Empire theme, this is up to you, it just changes the name theme uh, of all your uh, uh, all your, your your leaders of star systems of your classes. I like United Kingdom, although I am from the United States. Commander theme, uh, uh, this is the names for your commanders here. Uh, English, I, I'm speaking English, I'm going to keep it English. Um, so I think there is American, no, United States, yeah, United States, so, but I'm keeping English. Conventional or Transantonian Empire, conventional is today's technology. What we have at this moment in, as you can see here, uh, 2014, um, we're going to start Transnewtonian Empire, which takes care of quite a bit of uh, the starting technology, and we can sort of dive into the game right off. Species tolerance, we recommend you keep this all the same. Um, this is just your species name, humans, what what they can withstand. Uh, so how much oxygen pressure can we have? Uh, we're used to about 20% of our atmosphere being oxygen. Um, 
one half of that 20% we can go from 10% up to 30% essentially uh, is a way of thinking about it deviation I mean this is just stuff that we don't have to really dive into but I think it's self-explanatory starting population you can change this uh, if you'd like uh, again let's keep it the same starting system um, how many jump points how many different ways out of uh, Seoul uh, I've always liked to keep it zero and just get what I get but we'll keep it at three like I said we're gonna keep all these the same jump body survey completed essentially that's uh, um, have we looked in depth at every single uh, body of our solar system and we know what what minerals are on there um, we'll, we'll keep that blank for purposes of learning a uh, jump point we'll get into that a little bit later uh, starting tech points we're gonna assign them automatically uh, it's just uh, for research purposes create ship systems and ship designs um, we can definitely check that but I think it defeats the purpose of learning uh, so we'll keep that blank um, we'll, we're gonna keep our soul system and starting empire here on earth and we're not going to create our own empire somewhere else um, so everything's going to look familiar to you at least non-MPR computer opponents uh, non-player race um, is NPR precursors these, these are all self-explanatory um, it's basically the uh, uh, how do you say they're, they're like random encounters of powerful uh, ships we're gonna keep those there uh, computer controlled empires NPRs uh, non-player races keep this the same you can read those over on your own time simplifications personally I always click that but well, let's not do that for the purposes of education uh, again um, commanders, I mean, you can look this over. This one, real star systems. Um, I mean, keep it on or keep it off. I always like to uh, uh, keep it off so I can change a few things, but we'll, we'll keep it on here. And then orbital motion. Uh, you might want to click asteroids, but that really slows down the game. Um, and getting orbital motions and asteroids uh, just doesn't really affect the game as much as you know planting some moons. Let's go ahead and hit create game. It's going to get started. Uh, put everything together. It'll take just a moment.